ourselves and uh, but the challenge was this conservative part of our society especially our parents you know so uh, then uh, we had to then develop strategies you know to then uh, ensure that there's this buy-in remember those days there were also the local authorities or councillors and uh, Unfortunately for us, or maybe fortunately, his father, my uncle, was a local authority, uh, an official in the local authority. You call them councillors today. Yes. You know, he was also a principal of the school. You know, he was a father oh, to us. Thomas Sebi. Yes. Uh, no, no, the name of the school. Thomas. Oh, Tom Kasibi. Kasibi. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So he was the principal. He was also a church leader, you know. So then uh, I still remember Mzwandile was that approaching, let me say, hey, we're struggling here to, you know, get the parents because there's this resistance from our parents. You know, what do we do? And uh, the first thing was to then say, let's organize ourselves around the church, right? Because the parents were more religious inclined. So uh, we then encouraged the youth you know, to go to church you know, and be actively involved, visibly active in the church activity. As a result, we had we started in the Elliot Memorial Congregational Church, which is hard today. And uh, because the majority of us were there, you know, the entire family as you know. We were a big family. So we then launched our program of mobilizing the youth there. And then uh, the Methodist Church down, you know, the line was also mobilized. And then all youth was then encouraged to be part of those. We had a number of activities. Our aunt, uh, Mrs. Chesa, was the leader of the church in terms of youth, was responsible for youth. So that also gave us the leverage, you know, to be involved in, in, in church activities. So there we organized youth active church youth activities, preaching as the youth. And Mzwadile was also very, very active then. He was a very, very eloquent preacher, you know. And then uh, we also painted and renovated the church. So that, you know, uh, caused the parents to at least, you know, appreciate what we were doing. And that in, 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 in so doing, they also uh, gave us support in the activities. In what year, what years are we talking about? It's the youth became active last year. It's, a, it's around about 85, yes. 1985. Yeah, 1985. And then, uh, so we then it was the same year when the it was the declaration, you know, in 1985. Yeah, that one which would as OR, you know, said we must make all the uh, South Africa uncountable. Yeah. You know, but because of this conservative nature of our parents, we then uh, had this approach, and then. Uh, we then exploited the declaration of 1985 as the International Year of Youth yeah. Development, if you still remember. So we then rallied around that program. I still remember approaching the Minister uh, of uh, Religion in Methodist Church because we wanted to launch you know, this program. Uh, we approached them and then presented our program to them in terms of developing youth, you know, educating youth and all those things. We also had cultural activities, you know, during those days. For instance, 
the, we didn't have high school, you know, at, at the moment. So we had to go outside State Library. You know, when we come back, we then regrouped as youth, engaging youth in uh, cultural activities, you know, entertainment and raising funds, pocket money for us when we go back to, to school in Yudne, Kravirinet, Somerset, Old Swan, and those areas. You know, that's where we, we went to school for our secondary education. So, uh, so that is how we then had this buy-in and support from our parents. And then, uh, but our challenge was then this local authority. Because remember, those days we were, we had this resolve that we must make South African governable. And these structures and local authorities were apartheid structures that we had to destroy, you know. But the approach, because remember I said earlier on, we fought our uncle at the helm of that, you know, so uh, we then had to have this strategy of persuading him, because he's also our father, you know, that's respectful then. So we then resolved that, one, we must be respectful as youth, we encourage the youth to be disciplined, you know, encourage the youth to go to church, you know, encourage the youth to play sport. We were engaged in sport, rugby, with our parents playing rugby, and in those days, you know, the Harley Queens was the rugby football club, which we were all part of. And uh, as a family, because we were so a big family, so we participated, almost all of us, mm -hmm. in rugby. And our uncle was also a very keen rugby player, you know, so uh, he was also encouraging us to participate there. So, and then uh, we also established a soccer club, you know, uh, which we also use as the vehicle to mobilize you. Yes. You know, we taught, you know, we had tours in the little car room, you know, going to Yansan with Cliplat, Aberdeen, and uh, yes. Pearson, you know, Club Renette, George, you know, Willowmore. You know, Willow you know. And uh, during those days, before and after the matches, we also engaged and interacted with the youth, you know, sharing experiences in our respective places, uh, conscientizing you, you know. Um, that is how we then went back to start the development and establishment of STACO, the State of the Youth Congress under the banner of SAICO, the South African mm -hmm. Youth Congress, led by Peter Mukaba, you know, those days. And then uh, it was also under UDF, you know, yeah. So uh, from time to time, yeah, we would also go to Bersesh, you know, for alternative mm -hmm. literature, you know, and then uh, uh, met people, I think, yeah. So that is basically how we also, you know, conscientize our youth with the alternative literature that was there. Uh, I still remember the newspaper, well, uh, yeah, it was in a newspaper. Samstan. Samstan, yeah, you know, the newspaper that was, you know, very progressive those days, you know, that those were the literature that we used to disseminate and distribute amongst the youth, you know, to conscientize the youth. And then, um, so we then established, you know, this Steiko, you know. He was the president of Steiko, and then Mzwandila was the secretary of Steiko. And then, uh, so we then participated in, in, in these programs. Um, but you were all members? Yes. Yeah, the entire youth. Yeah. yeah. All youth, including the colored community as well. That's yeah. how we uh, met uh, Burton, yeah, you know, and all other uh, people in, 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 in the colored community. And then uh, now the faithful night. Okay. Yeah, just before that, mm -hmm. how we, 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 the demise of the local authority, you know, if we all were to local authority, you know, we approached our uncle, his father, to say, man, we've got a problem with this local authority. So uh, we would want, you know, this local authority to be disbanded, you know, 
with a mutated fat. And then he then asked us to give them an opportunity to report back to the community, you know, almost the last meeting. And that meeting was held at the church, you know, the Elliot Memorial Congregational Church, the Hade. Uh, was also attended by officials from Ravrenet, call them the Camp de Bois CPA. Call, uh, CPA was the what Cape, we call it? Cape Provincial Cape. Administration. Cape. Yeah, that's what it was called then. So uh, they were there. You know, reports were then tabled. We questioned the reports as a youth. You know, and then uh, after the reports and debates, we then demanded that uh, the councillors must then resign with immediate effect. And then uh, some of them resigned, with the exception of one, I think, I think it was Mr. Snook. Oh, Snook. Snook. Yeah, Mr. Snook. Yeah. He then remained, you know, but uh, we had to put pressure. Later on, also resigned. So that was one of our uh, achievement, you know. To but were you down. aware when you took that action? Were you aware that that made you very visible yes. for the apartheid state? It probably made you a target. Yeah. Yes. 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 But we you were, knew that. We knew that. Mm. We knew that precisely mm. because we. We, we were involved in this uh, program, you know, of making South Africa uncovered. Yes. Right. Obviously, if they refused to resign, you know, we would have intensified, you know, the action. But fortunately for us, they then uh, unanimously, you know, resigned, except for this one uh, councillor. And then uh, from there, we then had this news of the card of four, you know. So as the youth, you know, we then converged and resolved on this peaceful march. Yes. You know, yeah. Then which was called as per your report, your briefing as well, you know, according to Burton as well. It is true that uh, we went down to the colored community, which you is- You started in Kaba. In Kaba, yes. yeah. We started in Kaba, down to Golden Valley, you know, Golden Valley Bosman. to Bosman Street, you know, which was the area, and then up Victoria Street towards uh, Tam, you know. Okay. Yeah, and then back, you know, it was on the way back that uh, from time to time the police, you know, were provoking. You know, eager to shoot. In fact, they were trigger happy. You know, those days. How did they provoke? Well, uh, they wanted to, to to shoot, and they wanted to stop us from you know uh, proceeding. Okay. Yeah, you know, and then uh, until we reached the the church, mm. you know, uh, that is where they started opening fire, shooting randomly, and then uh, were scattered. And they started shooting with. Tear gas? Tear gas, yeah, yeah, and rubber bullets. Yeah. 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 And rubber bullets. So then uh, the youth then scattered you know, in all directions. Um, and the, until they regrouped Regroup. again, you know, um, there were public toilets, you know, very close to uh, where we were staying, you know, in the upper Kaba or oh. upper Kaba, you know. Uh, that is where we normally converge mm -hmm. as youth and also play dominoes and games and all those things. And that's where the funeral was also held. Yeah. You know, that is the area. And we call that the Freedom Square. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that is. <coughs> I think I've been there. Yeah, you see. And then uh, that is where we then converged. You know. So what was the time frame? Because Burton said to me that you'd, you'd actually sat down. Am I remembering correctly that the protest was peaceful? Yes. Yeah. Mm. And people sat down. Mm. Um, that was in front of the church. Yes, yes. yes. On, mm. on the main road. Yeah. Is, 
Are you yeah. following where all this is? Because you're going to have to, we're going to have to film. Yes. You know, you know where we are. Yes. Yeah. But you didn't sit down. You just stopped there. Yeah. Very really crooked. Yeah, no, no, first at the why church. Why did they start shooting? Well, I think, you know, you know, you know, know this, 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 in fact, the statement from them that would say disperse within five minutes, mm. within five minutes to disperse and all that. I mean, we're going back to township. We haven't destroyed anything in the town. You know, it's just a peaceful march going back, you know, into the township. Obviously, because they could not get what they were expecting of, of the radical youth those days, you know. So, in order for them to uh, to to be seen doing their job, they had to shoot us. You know, randomly. I mean, obviously, they were just provoking us. You know. So uh, then the, the youth, you know, scattered. And uh, so they then regrouped. We then regrouped at the toilets. You know, the public toilets. And, and did you do that immediately? The regrouping. Obviously, it's, it's, a, it's, a dis, it's a distance from the, the church mm. into... No, it's about, what, 10, 10 minute walk, 15 minutes? Yeah, it's, it's about 10 to 15 minutes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's about 100 meters from the church, yeah. from where we regroup. Mm. Mm. Then, uh, I think what, what happened after we were dispersed on a short end, that in front of the church, whilst we were going back to where we are staying at the location. In Kaba? In, in Kaba. Yes. In Kaba. As we were uh, shot at by the police. After this passing, I think the leadership called us again mm. to say we needed to see, because we knew that the, 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 the system would we would come back again and, and, yeah. and, and come and you know, harass us. So the leadership then said to us, we should again uh, 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 meet the group who were there at the, at the, at the toilets. Mm -hmm. at about six o'clock so yeah. in the evening. That's why we were also making fire, fire because it was a little bit cold, mm -hmm. remember? Yes, it was cold. during the winter. Yes. So we were told to go and regroup there. Yes. Hence we went there around about six years so. Mm -hmm. Who was the yeah. leadership? Yes, the press. So yes, the press. He's the president. <laughs> no. Zed was the but, secretary. But when you say the leadership, then it was yourself and Mzwandile. Yes. That's what you mean when you say leadership. There were quite a few. In fact, almost all of them were there. There was no Kwanel at no one so. so. In fact, in fact, in, in terms of leadership, you know, those were the people who held positions yes. in, the, in, the, in, the, in the leadership. Uh, otherwise, we were all activists then, mm. you know, mm. active, taking part you know, yes. in, the, in the struggle those days. Mm. You know, remember those days, the issue of positions was not uh, the issue. Yeah. You know, it was not the issue. No. You know, it was just, a position was just to coordinate you know, and facilitate. But in my mind, uh, the yeah. reason I asked is I don't know why Swandile was singled out. Because people have told us mm -hmm. that the police were looking for Swandile. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, mm -hmm. why, why mm -hmm. Swandile? Yeah. Why not the rest of you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. Obviously, um, Swandile was very active. You know, and all of us, you know, all of us, you know, uh, especially because I'm saying we were very active, you know, as a family, you know. For instance, mm. with our yeah. uncle as well, after he resigned, he was also harassed by the police, you know. For instance, I was arrested, you know, in Clipper, 
you know, uh, remember those days yeah. I was a student in Cape College, you know, studying for teaching in Cape College. So from time to time I'll come back and participate in the activities. So uh, the police stopped us whilst we were in Cape Lodge. And we also had a consumer boycott those days. We were boycotting, you know, uh, we were not buying in the local shops, you know. Okay. So we then we were buying from Clip you yes. know. So, uh, so then whilst we went to Clip with my other brother, you know, Ululamile Michels, you know, in his car, we were stopped by the police. And then the police asked us, you know, our names. I was the first in. Then uh, I, in fact, misrepresented myself to say I'm Sipo Daniels, you know, instead of Sipo Michels. You know, then I was then released, you know. Oh, okay. And then some one of the police, you know, Kumangana Rulam, Tata, Junior, you know, Kliplat, uh, you know, Petro, yeah. But the road was the police, uh, they knew Clip almost Clip. everybody in Sri Lanka, you know. And then uh, he asked me, uh, are you Daniels? Then uh, I said, yes. Whose son are you? Then Daniels, and then I mentioned, <laughs> 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 Mr. Uh, I said, Begilan. And then he asked me, how is he? I said, no, he's fine. He said, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so then I was then released. So they believed that I was really you know, this son of Mr. Pekila and Daniels. Mm. So and, was then, and then, uh, and, then uh, and then, and then, uh, and then uh, I, and then I was released. Then my other brother went in, he was also released. And then the third one who was with us, I think Suka, Mongame, Suka, he was then interviewed, you know, and then, uh, Apparently, he was asked about us as well, you know. And then uh, he then told them that, no, that is Sipo Michels, you know. And then I was called in again, <laughs> you see. And then uh, they said, we've been looking for you. So I'm saying the, the, the same applies with Burton as well, and uh, everybody else, that, and everybody else. But I said, I've been in Sela for what, a week already. You know, they said we didn't knew, we didn't know that you were in state like that. You know, so uh, they then arrested uh, me and my brother. Oh. Then Monga Melisuba was then released. You see, it's a family matter. You know, so wherever you introduce yourself as Nakas, you know, then uh, you know people will say, oh, you know, you know, is it dangerous? family, you know, who were, they viewed us as this family that was inciting and mobilizing. The, 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 yeah, they knew, in fact, they regarded us as the family who was, you know, instrumental in, in organizing. So that was also, you know, a mahas. So obviously, if you are a mahas, you know, you are in trouble. And that was the reason why we also had to live. State yeah. yeah. precisely because of that. Okay. You know, and the, why, the security system mm -hmm. knew that Zwanile was a student at Kravne, where Goni <coughs> was a teacher. Okay. Yeah. That's a useful connection, I see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I see. I see. So, so he was a target. Yeah. Zwanile, in fact, you know, was. Uh, influenced by Matthew Koniwe. Yes. There was Koniwe yeah. those days, was the principal of the school. Mm -hmm. And then remember the system also wanted to uh, terminate his services mm -hmm. as a principal. So the students, you know, uh, protested. Supported. Yeah, and supporting him because he was really very progressive. You know, so that is when Mzwani also emerged as a leader yeah. in Klavri. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then uh, the schools were closed, you know, okay. was part of the Club Net Youth Congress, you know, okay. that's Graico, that's how he also came Graico. to Stegladville, and then uh, we all together formed the Stegladville.
was uh, stayed at the you know, kind of, you know, it was out of that kind of uh, uh, influence as well. We also, as students in Cape College, visited Goni, you know, in in Credo, you know, uh, because we saw him as the, the inspiration. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you know, and all. so whoever has got connection with him, you know, those days, you know, was. Uh, 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 an enemy of the system. Mm -hmm. in, uh, in so, Mzwandi mm -hmm. was also one of those people. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the picture in yes. that you see, mm -hmm. the, with the book, you oh, know, yeah, with the book, the lady with the yellow or orange, yes. you know, lady. it yes. is, uh, she yeah. is. The one, you know, she was with him in Hrabli Mets. We were working underground. Mm -hmm. I hear that, uh, this, this lady, this lady, she has learned uh, the, the people, the, the youth, that how you must go through to each a case. Go through each a case and what you must uh, do when uh, I can take something like we have to. So, we, 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 we really, as, as, as the youth those days, we had a campaign called the Chabula campaign. The Chabula was a sogam. Room. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Right. Okay. It was sold in okay. Staten Island, mm -hmm. uh, a few meters from the school. As we were coming from the school, you know, the learners, when they pass that outlet, uh, it was a small building for which they were selling. Our parents were just scattered there, you know. And uh, sometimes in compromising positions, you know. Um, so we, we, we really were really concerned about that. That's the first thing. And then uh, they would be shouting at each other, fighting in front of us, scolding at each other, you know, because they were under this influence of this. And uh, the other very critical issue that we discovered was that. People who were indulged in that, you know, grew some hair in, the, in their faces. So we then declared that this thing is unhealthy. You know, they would get swollen, you know, in the faces. Then we declared that this thing, you know, is not healthy, it's a health hazard. So we took up that campaign, you know, to destroy this thing. So we approached the authorities, they claimed that. This is their revenue, and this thing is healthy. You know, we said, if it is healthy, why don't you drink it? Okay. You know, they refused to drink it. You know, we then said, we don't want this. You know. And then uh, they refused, they resisted, until this time it was burnt down. You know. And then uh, they tried to resuscitate it, and then we burnt it down. We destroyed it. Yes. Uh, uh, and then uh, we then also cleaned the open public spaces, you know, where the dumping areas within the township, you know, we cleaned up, we had a campaign, the cleanup campaign, mm -hmm. I think it was around about February or March, mm -hmm. about where we declared the whole month as health month, you know, so we would clean and would also visit uh, homes of the elderly, cleaning the houses, cooking for the elderly, you know, taking care of the elderly. So we would adopt, you know, a house where there's an elderly, you know, as part of us demonstrating, you know, the respect for the elderly, you know, and trying to buy in you know, the buy-in and the support of the elderly people, you know, and parents. So that went out very well, you know. In, uh, and then uh, I think those were the activities that we had. 
you know. Uh, <coughs> so I think that oh, is... Oh, that explains a lot. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. really yeah. helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. We need to get back to the okay. six o'clock, the regroup. Okay. And yeah. The re yeah, yeah. let's go to the regroup. Um, the regroup. Mm. I think on, on the regroup, we went later after the recruitment. Was yeah. we've learned we that we, we, we've learned that some of the policemen in the township was with the the, the, the group of policemen who harassed. No lies, yes, they were they were no lies to us, dark. But someone tipped us that Omza was there. Mm -hmm. Then we went to Omza. Omza is a local police policeman. Right. Yeah. Yes. Saya was after Omsa was a black okay. so okay. okay. mm. And in the police are team. Yeah. As a was a uniform. He was staying at Kapa. He was living in Kapa. Yeah. I know. I look black with that. I remember that day I was coming from my aunt mm. Mm. Ne, me and boy Z sister. Okay. Ne, a sibling there. And then as we were coming we, we heard this noise. Ne? And then they say the, the mob ne, of the youth is attacking us. Mm. Yeah, Who said yes, that? Yes, it was her sister and no bus were That's what's also the the the, the police that yes. So the regrouping was after the yeah because I remember that taking a cheese ne? we divided this cheese uh, we were staying close I think our house was close yeah. to same and then who's who's the 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 Musa uh, said the leadership told us that we are going to recruit. Yeah. After the dispersal, as we were going home, we then received those news that Womza was part of oh. the police that oh. were shooting at us. Oh. And we decided to go and tell him that he must, if he was part of that, he must leave. Yeah. That's, yeah. When, that's when he must leave the township. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's when that he was running, phoning yeah. that oh. hey, these people want to kill me. Yeah. Oh. So that's where the police well, are came. Why did you tell him you must leave? Excuse me? Why did you tell him? We were saying at that time mm -hmm. that because he was part of the police that were shooting at us. You thought he was in danger? Did you no. think that? Who was in danger? The policeman. Not no. It was us, the youth at the time, who were saying to him because he was part of the system that was shooting at us. He cannot then stay with amongst us in the same township. Because he was shooting at us. You know? oh, so we were then yeah, saying, you yeah. must then go to his peers and stay with those people who were shooting at us. I see. But you, nothing was done to him. We were just oh. conveying the mercy. And but then after go. that, we went to recruit. It's only after he went to those people that the, the whole sister, the whole police uh, Did force Did he go came. to the police station? Yeah, yeah. Yes. He, yeah. Ran, yes. he ran, he ran, he ran out of the township okay. to the police station. Did he shoot his gun before he yeah. said that? Yes, yes. 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 Was running. as he was running, he was shooting shot. as he was running. I see. In the, in the sky. And then uh, it was, we declared him as an enemy. Yes. He okay. was part of the enemy. You know, he was earlier on, as we indicated, they shot at the, you know, and then uh, we learned that he was also part of those people who shot, you know. So he was then, you know, approached, you know, to be informed that uh, we, we don't want you here yeah. amongst us yeah. because you are an enemy, you know, of the people, you know. 
So he then ran away. So he might have reported at the police station that these people were harassing him, you know, the youth, you know. So they then mobilized themselves, you know, the local police and police from outside yeah. Lavin and the local commando, including the police reservists, you know, uh, they were then part of this contingent of people. And I think somebody quoted, you saw them when they were, you know, approaching mm. the place where the youth gathered. I take it when we were there for myself and Upez, my yeah. son, we were just, I think we were going to go to our aunt to get to Malbon. Mm. On our way as we were going to, we are going to Yeah, because I went for you. We, we, we saw, yeah, but there's a group of people, and who homes are staying in that street. Yeah. Then we yes. go, we went back to where uh, we are converging. Yeah. We were just getting there just to, to, to say to the people, hey, there's something coming here. As we were just talking, there was not a single warning or what, yeah. it was just short. Mm -hmm. It was now darkish at that time, and then we had to Sorry, so get scattered. Were walking or were they in trucks? They were, they were, they were walking, I think that their vans were behind them, mm -hmm. but the, the group no, of policemen were that were there, they were not, there was no, there were no, no vans. vans. Yeah. Remember, remember that time, we didn't have Very dark lights. Mm -hmm. No street lights, there were no street lights. And then uh, we would have spotted oh. the, the trucks and uh, whatever if they were. They did not have trucks. So they were being stealthy. They, they were, mm. yeah. yeah. And they yeah. didn't want us to sit. Yes. That's mm. exactly. They didn't come yeah. to arrest. Mm. They, were, was, they were just there with those the right ones. Yeah. yeah. They okay. shot yeah. at us and yeah. they, then we had to, to speak. So I they shot at you with live ammunition, not rubber bullets. We, 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 we came to understand that there were life bullets because that was shot dead. So then our understanding is that there were life bullets because here is one of us who was shot dead. Yes, okay. So some of them had pellets. Yeah. 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 I was shot with pellets. I had pellets all over here. Yeah. I was shot with pellets. Yeah. 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 I had pellets. I had to we cut open to take them up. But we had to run to different directions now because they were they were all over the place. I remember I ran, you won't believe, to, if, if you go to the state level, you, you see the, the, the hall and the graveyard. On the night, I slept at the graveyard. Did you? I couldn't go back home. We, yes. Myself and other group of youth, we had to find our way. We went to the graveyard, but when we saw, hey, we were very close to them as we were in the graveyard. So we thought, hey, maybe these people can even come. Yeah. We went to first in the one. Okay. Okay. Down there at, 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 at the What's colored the area colored where area? they are making bricks. Golden Valley. At oh, least, yeah. at yeah. least yeah. We, had, we, were stay, we were safe there. We thought, okay, yeah. yes, at least here we were safe. Wow. But we didn't know, for instance, I was with him, but I didn't know where he was. Mm. My aunt, son, Malbon, we were, we were a, group, a tight group. So we were scattered, and one was worried because we saw the vans going up in tight. We thought the people are being taken now to jail. So we didn't know. It's only in the morning that we understood exactly what transpired the night before. So what did anybody um, Sorry, I need to ask you to stop there just for a minute. I've got to change the...